here just a face in the crowd. British police have sparked a row by using facial recognition technology to scan some 90,000 people who attended a music festival last weekend. Well, police say it was all for the sake of security. The aim was to identify potential troublemakers by comparing faces to a Europe-wide database of known offenders. Officers would have otherwise sought out suspects the old-fashioned way with their own eyes. Police insist the captured data was neither stored or used for anything else. But the experiment has set a precedent, and it's thought it could soon become the norm in the UK. Several other music festival organisers now want to get their hands on the hardware, something liberty activists are decrying as an invasion of privacy. People attending a music festival shouldn't find themselves in a police lineup. This is a shocking and alarming development uh, and a further move away from reactive policing where the police start with a crime and then look for suspects to investigate and solve that crime uh, and a further move towards what they call predictive policing where they start with pieces of data which could be uh, a face print, a fingerprint and a car number plate, an IP address, a telephone number and then start looking for crimes. Facial recognition technology is what they want to to really go with. They want to run with that technology and they're, they're using things like music festivals as, as a testing ground but also to get the public used to the idea that it's okay. But we mustn't let this be normalised. This is not normal and this is not at the mark of a free society. Well, as you might imagine, the online reaction has been swift and sharp. Some comments criticise the police for using a private organisation to host its snooping experiment, with one person suggesting there could be legal loopholes involved. Although some people are defending the technology, saying officers tend to keep a low profile and only take action in order to prevent crime.